So I was on a job site the other day. They were doing some demo. And I seen these beams sticking out of the dumpster. So I asked myself, my man, you can use those beams and make something out of it. Make something out of it? Like what? You can make, I don't know, a coffee table or something. You know what? That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, man. You can take the beams, cut them down, and make like a really simple coffee table. It'll be like rustic, reclaimed wood. Yeah, I mean, you can make a video of it and put it on YouTube. It's a good way to show everyone that you're building furniture. You know, there's a reason I liked you. You always come up with some good ideas. First step is to take my two tabletop pieces, take them to the table saw, rip them down for glue up. So all I'm looking to do here is to make a nice flat surface so that when I glue up my table, the glue can hold the two pieces together nicely. were already pretty square to begin with so I was able to just go up against the fence of my table saw and rip them down pretty easily pretty smoothly without um, any major adjustments as you can see the beams pretty thick so it took a couple passes ripping it on one end flipping it around and then ripping the other end YouTuber mistake number one. Uh, you see me here lining up my pieces. I was going to use a, I, I end up using a biscuit joiner. Um, however, you guys ain't going to be able to see the glue up because I didn't realize I didn't have enough storage on my phone. So pretty early in this process, the phone dies and I didn't even know the phone was dead. So you guys won't be able to see the whole footage, but this is the beginning footage at least. Here's the tabletop, all glued up. I've already pulled the clamps off. We'll get back to this later. So in order to keep the rustic look of the table, I gotta make sure that I leave at least three edges rough so that it can remain consistent. So I wanna maintain both of these edges rough. So I'm gonna rip the pieces here and also rip it here to create my tape, my legs. So here I am ripping down the table legs to about two and a half inches. And I don't have a fancy industrialized table saw. Just got this job site saw that I attached an outfit table to. And she struggled a little bit. Eh, what's the big deal? Eh, not to see here. As you can see, it's winter out here, and um, I'm in my garage with no heat, making a coffee table. Yeah, I mean, that's completely normal, right? But anyways, uh, yeah, this is my, uh, this, these are my legs. So I got my legs cut, I got my skirts cut. Now I got them cut to a rough dimension. Now it's time to make a, make a base out of this stuff. So it's starting to come together. It used to be a beam. 
Now it's parts for a coffee table. Cool. Fuck. Damn, I could be losing my fucking mind. And here's a closer look at the legs. So I am trying to It's glued up nice. This bad boy is thick, thick. Yeah, that's a thick piece of wood right there. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> I got one edge that's a little uneven. This back side will show you. Or the front side will be my top. This is what you're going to see. So this is, it's got a little bit of a hump right here. But with some uh, vigorous sanding, some intense sanding, I'll get it nice and flat. But before I put it together, before I can get to that point, I'm gonna be taking a good chunk out of this thing with the router. So, you see these two by fours are laid down? These things are nice and flat. They're parallel to my table. So you're gonna watch me router the face of this thing and make a nice flat surface so that when I put the base on it, I got a nice flat coffee table. I was able to take a good half inch off of this thing. It's a lot of work. I'm feeling it in my shoulder. But anyways, enough pitching. So the piece is still about three inches thick. My legs are only about two and a half inches. So I want to make it a little more consistent. So I'm going to keep taking more off. I want to get it down to about uh, two and a quarter inches. My router is maxed out. I can't go down any deeper. So I'm not able to plane it out anymore because I'm already deep enough. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to raise this bad boy up. So. I can't lift the table up. I can't lower the rails down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the piece up by just putting a piece of three quarter plywood underneath. Bring it up, it'll bring it up nice and even, nice and flat, and, I, and I'll be able to take off more. And just in case you didn't believe me, I'll show you my fancy measuring device. Uh, we are around three, we started around four and a half inches, and we're gonna get it down to about two and a quarter once we're all set. Again, no fancy planer here, just a regular router with a router jig. I made this off camera. If you guys want to see a video of how to make one of these jigs, uh, let me know in the comments. And about a, after about 20,000 passes, we finally got this thing to where I wanted. coffee table. I made it out of a couple pieces I pulled out of a dumpster on a job site and now it's a coffee table. Pretty simple. Does its function. It's got four legs. It's got a flat top. There it is. You can put it in your uh, in your living room. Well this is what I wanted to make but then I thought it's kind of boring. I don't like boring. <laughs> We won't do boring. So the first design was way too simple. So I wanted to add a modern feature to it. So the first thing I wanted to do was to add two pieces to the end. Um, this would do two things for me. It would add more length to the tabletop and it will also create that rough look uh, on every side on the end side of the tabletop. This time around I had plenty of storage on my phone so you're able to see the entire glue up 
and I basically did the same thing with the two main pieces of the tabletop. I did two rows of biscuits and expert, uh, quote unquote expert woodworkers will tell you biscuit joiners don't add any strength, but I disagree. And if you think I'm wrong, tell me why I'm wrong in the comments. If you're sitting there wondering why I have a heat gun out, um, at this point, it's probably single digits in my garage and I need the heat gun to keep the glue warm so it wouldn't freeze on me. Again, expert woodworkers would fawn upon this, but I don't care. It's my table. I do what I want. And don't sweat it. Once I had it all glued up, I brought the piece inside for the night. So in order to create that modern feature, I decided to go with three quarter inch good old American black walnut plywood. Here I'm just cutting my pieces to a manageable size so I can get them on the table saw. Um, and basically what I'm doing here is making a shelf that's going to go below the tabletop. It's also going to act as my base on which both uh, all four legs are going to be screwed to. And here's the shelf and basically the tabletop will sit on top of this and you'll have an open area for storage underneath and the legs will be attached to the side. I also glued the three sides to the shelf and left the bottom with screws only so that I can remove it later. Alright, so now it's time for some staining and I went with polyurethane clear satin and it really goes on really smooth and I'll show you in a minute once I get my big head out of the way how it really makes that green pop and showcases the rich chocolate look of the uh, walnut. that green really pops on that walnut look how nice that looks oh yeah you gotta hit it with a long stroke you know what I'm saying stroke it right out polyurethane does a great job of protecting the wood and it also makes the wood shine without changing the color too much the main event our tabletop uh, this thing came out really nice man after some pretty intense sanding we got it down to a good level I use about 120 grit and look at this right here look at how nice that looks look at the grain the contrast the knots so I went with three coats and light sanding in between. So three coats of poly and light sanding in between and you get amazing results. that ingrain a little love uh-huh 
Uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. Take that. Now that everything's stained, now it's time to assemble. Check it out. There's the coffee table. Boom. Told you I was gonna do it. I told you. If you're still watching, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell for some notifications. I got some more content on my way, on your way, on my way, on your way. Uh, it's coming. Uh, I'm taking my side hustle and I'm turning it into a business and I'm inviting you to watch me go through the ups, the downs, the wins and the lessons. And if you want to tell me how I did this wrong and how you would have done it better, hey, yell at me on, on the comments. It's going to help my algorithm, so it's okay. Appreciate the support and go make something.